We're going to begin with breaking news on a potentially game-changing vaccine against coronavirus at the same time that infections of the virus here in the U.S. are now growing by the millions. Tonight, the biotech company Moderna says it has developed a vaccine that is nearly 95 percent effective and capable of preventing severe illness. The company says with emergency approval from the FDA, it could start giving the shots to high-risk patients and healthcare workers as soon as next month. Well, on Wall Street, investors reacted enthusiastically pushing U.S. stocks to new highs. Even as experts warn the country is plunging deeper into a deadly and dark winter for the pandemic. And as we come on the air, the U.S. has surpassed 11 million cases. That's a million new infections in just one week. That's two million since the beginning of this month. And hospitals, well, they're reaching a breaking point tonight, treating nearly 70,000 COVID patients right now. And with the Thanksgiving holiday next week, take a look at these lines at food banks stretching for miles in Dallas as mayors, governors, impose tough new restrictions on family gatherings. Well, we have two reports on the vaccine and the crisis tonight, beginning with CBS's Dr. John LaPook. The initial results were striking for Dr. Stephen Hoag, Moderna's I, president. I, I, it took my breath away for a minute. I'm sure I was grinning ear to ear. An independent review found out of 95 cases of symptomatic COVID, only five participants received the vaccine, sending a strong signal for its effectiveness. Another important finding, the vaccine prevented severe disease. Of 11 cases, none were in the vaccine group. It was really, really impressive, quite impressive. Dr. Anthony Fauci's team at the NIH collaborated with Moderna to develop the vaccine. Am I seeing the Tony Fauci equivalent of jumping up and down in excitement? Uh, that's not my style, John, but I got to tell you, close to 95% efficacy in a vaccine for a respiratory virus like this and as, as a new virus is really quite an accomplishment. The news comes a week after drug maker Pfizer said its vaccine candidate was more than 90% effective. The coronavirus uses a spike protein to attack cells. Both the Moderna and Pfizer two-dose vaccines contain genetic information called messenger RNA, which instructs cells to produce harmless versions of that spike protein, triggering an immune response to the virus. But as soon as it's approved for use by FDA, the trucks will roll with vaccine in hours, and that will continue round the clock. One distribution advantage, Moderna's vaccine can be stored for up to 30 days in a regular refrigerator. Pfizer's vaccine requires ultra-cold storage. Moderna is part of the government's Operation Warp Speed and could deliver 20 million doses by the end of the year, ramping up to 40 to 50 million a month in 2021. Michael Rouse, who participated in the Moderna trial, says a vaccine is key to ending the pandemic. It's so important that we all get this vaccine. It's the only way we can control this virus. The virus is not going away. And John joins us now. This seems like an incredible breakthrough. But when we know that healthcare workers and the elderly will be the first to get the vaccine, but what about everybody else? Well, Nora, as you suggest, it's going to be a phased rollout with those people getting it first. And then over the course of 2021, you're going to see the states having a rollout plan. Now, tens of millions of doses are available each month. We expect that by April, a good proportion of Americans will have gotten the first dose. And now I know that now is a tough time. Everybody has COVID fatigue and it's a devastating time in terms of the spread of the of the illness. But don't lose hope right now. This is a time to double down on all those fundamental measures that we've taken, especially with wearing a mask. And if we keep doing that, we can flatten the curve. Remember that, flattening the curve so that when the vaccine does come along, uh, we have a better chance of getting this pandemic under control. It's an important piece of advice. Thank you, Dr. John LaPook.